This video is going to show you how to linearize data using the uh, charting commands in a Google Sheet. To begin with, I've got an experiment where the student varied the distance while measuring the force. That tells me the distance is going to be my independent variable, so it's going to go on the x-axis. If I look at the way my data is written, it's written incorrectly. What I'm going to do is take the force values, I'm going to copy them, and then paste them, just using the edit commands, into the next column. And I'm going to highlight from distance all the way down to the 60. So the column distance and the force on the right column. And then I want to choose insert, go down to where it says chart. And now from this picture I can kind of see what it looks like. It looks like a square root function. So that means I gotta have the distance, it's got to be the square root. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of that, delete. So what I'm gonna do down here at the bottom is I'm gonna rewrite everything. So this is going to be equal to the distance. And this caught the space and press equals and I want this to be the square root of 200 so equals sqrt parentheses I'm gonna click on this the cell that says 200 and close parentheses then what I need to do is click on that same cell the 14.14 and drag the little box on the right hand side all the way down so that'll fill down with the values so each one of these values is the square root of the values in the distance column now I need to put the force column right next to it, so I'll click equals, click on the cell that says force, hit return, then I'll go up in that cell, and I'm not going to do anything to this, I'm just going to drag it down, and that'll copy the force column. So on the left, those are going to be the x values, the independent vari or variable, on the right is the dependent variable, the force value, so that's set up right. Now I'll make a chart, click on the word distance, and drag my mouse down to the 60, so I've highlighted all these uh, rows and the two columns. Then I'll go to insert, chart. Hopefully this one, yeah, it's straighter. That's great. So that's what I'm going to be looking for right there. Now I need my values. I'll go to customization tab at the top of the screen. I'm going to scroll down the left hand side to the very bottom where it says trend line. I'm going to click on linear, scroll down a little bit more. Now I can say use equation and then show R squared. On the right hand side you can see that the equation popped up and the r-squared value, regression coefficient squared. Click on insert and there's my graph. Now I just need to dress it up. Remember that it's not just distance, it's the square root of distance. So my data table over here should just be sqrt distance the units are sqrt meters. On the graph, this is going to be, I'm going to type out the word, square root of distance versus force. And down here the distance, it's not the distance, it's the square root of the distance. S-Q-U-A-R. One of those days, square root of distance, and it's not meters for the units, it's SQRT meters. Now everything looks labeled correctly. So the correct formula would be force is equal to 0 0.707 times the square root of distance minus, well that number says 3.55 e to the negative 14, that's 10 to the negative 14. I don't have any instruments that measure anything that small. So that's basically zero. So really the equation is force is equal to 0 0.707 times the square root of the distance.